Welcome to Grow and Give, a modern victory garden project from Colorado State University Extension. We're here to help you learn to grow food for yourself, your family, to share with your neighbors or your community. Asian greens. Asian greens is a catch-all term used to refer to a lot of the softer stir-fried vegetables that are found in Asian cuisine. A lot of this cuisine is based in countries like China, Japan, Korea, Taiwan, Vietnam, and it has a lot of other global inspiration as these communities are found throughout the world. Planting and growing Asian greens. The harvest varies by crop. Growing Asian greens is pretty simple. They all follow a general rule of thumb. They're cool season crops, so they enjoy soil temperatures above 45 degrees with cool days. Now, if you want consistent Asian greens throughout the summer, in the hot summers of Colorado, they should be placed in protected areas of part shade. You can sow them every two weeks for continuous harvest from seed. If you are planting seedlings, make sure you're planting them with the right spacing between them. Each type of Asian green will have different space needs, so check the plant tag or the seed packet and then thin the young seedlings to the correct space for the more mature crops. For the best tasting greens, rapid growth is key. Amend the soil prior to planting with compost, then plan to fertilize. Fertilization with half strength fertilizer at planting out of the seedlings or after the seeds have germinated and have put on at least two sets of true leaves then again with more fertilizer about three weeks later and then at five weeks. This consistent fertilization plus water is a key to rapid growth. Mulch around your Asian greens and don't let them dry out. When plants like this dry out, they get a little bitter or a lot more heat or spiciness to the flavor. Harvesting your Asian greens depends upon the type of crop that you're growing. Know which part you want to use. Some of them, you only harvest the outer leaves. Others, you take the entire plant to use. If you're just harvesting leaves, cut the leaves about an inch above the ground to encourage fresh growth on the plant. Take just what you need. The storage life of these uh, greens is only about two weeks. So you'll need to keep a consistent harvest going and also adjust your menu so that you're using it consistently or cleaning it and packaging it in order to donate to your local food pantries. Know your greens. The flavors of Asian greens can vary quite a bit. Some of them are mild and sweet, and some of them have quite a zip. They can be used in a lot of different preparations, such as fresh in salads, they can be used in soup, stir fries, they can be braised or grilled. Let's take a look at some of the popular varieties. Some of the core types of Asian greens that we like to use are snow peas and garlic chives, but there's a lot more to Asian greens and we hope that you as a gardener explore it. Bok choy. This is a non-heading Chinese cabbage with smooth or slightly savoyed or crinkled leaves, and they have very wide, thick petioles or the leaf stalks on the leaves themselves. They have a mild, sweet flavor. They are outstanding chopped and used in stir fries. You use the leaves and the stems in all of the dishes. Tatsoi is a close relative. It has a mildly spicy, kind of a sweeter cabbage-like flavor, but it stands more upright than bok choy. And as you can see in this photograph, the petioles or the leaf stalks are much, much narrower. It's a very upright plant. It's generally pretty cold tolerant, um, and it'll form a nice little rosette about eight inches across. Like bok choy, the leaves are used in salads and soups, 
as well as chopping up those leaf stalks for inclusion in your meals. Gailan is also commonly called either Chinese kale or Chinese broccoli. It's similar to broccoli in flavor. It can be a little sweeter, but also has a slightly spicy aftertone to it. The stems and leaves are what we're growing this for instead of a broccoli head. So this is what we're looking for. Now, different cultivars of Gailan are different sizes. Some of them are uh, really best at being used young. So you don't need as much space in the garden to grow this. Others can get quite large and need quite a bit of elbow room. So pay attention to the packet. But in Colorado in general, going for the ones that are ready in a very short period of time is a way to assure that you're going to get a continuous crop of this incredibly delicious plant for your kitchen. Komatsuna is a Japanese type green with mild flavor that people have described as tasting as a cross between maybe a little tangy like spinach and definitely zippy like Asian mustard. It's also referred to as spinach mustard because people describe the flavor like this. People eat the leaves and the flower shoots, and these can be used in a variety of dishes, whether it's in stir fries or in soups, and it's very, very easy to grow. Nisome is a cross between Komatsuna and Tatsoi. It grows upright and has heavily crinkled leaves like you can see here. The leaf stalks are also slightly wider than what you find with the tatsoi, but it's all delicious and you use the leaves in stir fries, in salads, and also in pickling. Mizuna is a very, very popular Asian green to grow. It's a mild green that has a mustard-like flavor. People adore it in soups, they adore it in salads, and it's really easily grown. It's kind of a bushy plant. It takes up quite a bit of room and you're harvesting the leaves in order to use them like you would say a spinach or in um, soups. And one of the better ways to use it is a surprising addition to add a mustard-like flavor to sandwiches. So you would be using it like you would a lettuce. Mustard greens themselves are quite, quite popular in our Asian cuisine. They have a spicier flavor than some of the other greens discussed here. They can be really, really pungent, especially in under the Colorado heat conditions. So this is one that you really have to watch your water on or it rapidly gets too hot to eat. They have some frost tolerance, the mustard greens. Um, they are fast growing, however, so you should be able to keep a continuous crop growing Harvest the younger leaves and, and keep harvesting those younger leaves for best production. Grow food, give locally, support your community. Contact your local CSU Extension office.